Generation Z is a word to describe a group of people born between 1996 and 2012. Typically, a generational cohort lasts about 20 years in which children grow up, become teenagers, become adults and have children themselves. For the past two years, I've been on a journey with some core individuals exploring what it means to be Gen Z in the world today. This is Gen Z in London versus the world. So a super talented researcher, Matthew at Partnership for Young London, collected a survey of young people's attitudes across the city. This data set was basically the largest data collected for about 10 years. This, with the help of previous studies, can help us answer questions like if global events like the pandemic will impact young people the most, or most importantly, if youth service funding and provisions that work for millennials also work for Gen Z. So with the help of Bad Milk London and a few creatives that I call Bear Radicals from Ends, I'm going to meet with a group of Gen Z young Londoners to discuss the events that shape their life in the city. My name's Tassin and I'm 17. My name's Antonio Ferreira and I'm 23 years old. I'm Jordan Minga and I'm 19 years old. My name is Fatima and I'm 17. My name is Jasmine Wemban Koy and I'm 20 years old. My name is Armani Malone and I am 20 years of age. <laughs> Some of the hobbies that I have include music, football, watching anime, um, writing music, and just like walking around. I enjoy watching films. I'm from Camden, and one thing about London that makes me feel alive is the amount of young people. I grew up in Peckham, and just being able to walk around and travel around so easy right now it's just like even in lockdown just walking around and just seeing all the different areas it's just that's what makes me really love London. I really enjoy reading I live in central London just like the amount of diversity and how it feels like home because there's so many people like you. I'll call myself a creator so I create any content whether it be music, um, short films, podcasts. One word to describe my age group I would say um, confused. Mad. <laughs> it's honestly mad. But don't care. Nope, like Gen Z's just don't care. <laughs> it's mad. I'd say interesting, creative, influential. I believe we have a lot of influence that we can give to other generations following from us and we've got to use that influence. Ambitious, a little hopeless, but at the same time, just really ready to go. I'd say challenged. I believe Gen Z are challenged, but a challenge isn't always bad. Sometimes a challenge makes us stronger, but I'd definitely put challenged. I would say Gen Z is very different to other generations because they're trying to make a different type of impact. There's no like one way of being um, who you are in uh, our age group. Like it's just amazing people. I'd say Gen Z is very brave and daring because I feel like some of the things that I see like my age group do and like people around me, it's like things that you wouldn't really see like other age groups do kind of, if that makes sense. It would be uh, we're a creative bunch that need more guidance, but we're also are very outspoken and love to express ourselves. But yeah, we just need more guidance from the older generation. Gen Z are more likely, apparently, to advocate for other communities, like groups that aren't like them. Why do you think that is? 